Hi, hello, and welcome to the video. Today I'm doing 0 to 100 Valentine's Day date night. Now, my husband is deployed, but that doesn't mean I can't have a date with myself. I'm going to take you through all the steps I would take going out on the town. <laughs> Before I get into doing my makeup and my hair, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa provides high quality jewelry at an affordable price. Most of their pieces start at $39. Today I'm going to be wearing the mini Naomi necklace. Ana Luisa has over 25,000 five star reviews and you can really tell that it's quality as you're putting it on. I also picked up the Hana Lee in silver. I really appreciate that Ana Luisa has both gold and silver options because I'm a silver gal. I think silver looks best on my pale, pale skin. All of Ana Luisa's jewelry are backed by a 365-day warranty. They are carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, which is amazing. We love beautiful, affordable, ethical jewelry. I love how these are so edgy, perfect for my kind of style, but I also picked out matching earrings. These are the Frida earrings in silver. They're currently having a buy one, get one 50% off sale. So it'd be perfect for mothers, mother-in-laws, friends, partners, anybody that loves jewelry. Now's the time to check it out. You could get the necklace and the matching earring. The jewelry comes in these really cute magnetized pouches. So if you're traveling, your jewelry stays safe. And if you're international, they do offer international shipping. Whoop, whoop. Something else that's really cool is any jewelry that they can't use it is donated. What other jewelry company do you know that does that? I don't know any. <laughs> and already, just adding the jewelry, I already feel my shoulders back a little more, feel a little more confident. So be sure to go down to this description box down below. That will send you to the Ana Luisa website so you can check out the Valentine's Day buy one get one 50% off sale. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. I love to use these in the morning just to help me wipe off any excess skincare, especially if I have used a really occlusive layer like oil or a balm. And this also gets off any pillow grime. Pillow grime is real, y'all. It's not super exfoliating. It's not harsh on your skin. It actually feels really nice. Following that, I'm going to take the Kosas Spray On Serum. I really like to add on a serum <clears throat> before I go in with moisturizer so everything is nice and slippy and sinks in. The moisturizer, I'm going to be using my sunscreen today. I'm taking the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. This has SPF 50 PA++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++++
This is a dupe for my Holy Grail Exa color corrector. And this one is much more affordable. I can't believe I actually found a dupe for it in formula and color. And this one has just a touch more coverage. So I'm like, oh, I'm just over the moon about that dupe. Especially since color correctors are having a moment right now. This one's just so creamy and hydrating. So I use padding motions to get as much coverage as I can. I do cover my eyelids because I have blue and purple veins. And then whatever's left, I just kind of spread it throughout the rest of the face. So I don't have any edges when I go in with the next product. But wow, 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 that. <laughs> okay, just wear this and be totally happy. But I ain't going to do that. I'm going in with the House Labs Triclone Foundation. I wear the shade 040. This foundation, whatever base you put underneath it, aka if you use a pore blurring primer or if you use a dewy primer, this foundation is going to mimic it. So I definitely would recommend this for a date night because not only is the formula flexible, but it lasts for a very long time, at least on my dry skin. And a little bit of this goes an extremely long way especially if you like more medium to sheer coverage like I do. I like this foundation because you can apply a sheer thin layer and it still provides a pretty good amount of coverage but you don't feel like you're wearing a mask. And I'm just going across the skin with a dry sponge to soak up any excess product. So I'll tell you a little bit about my relationship. <laughs> my husband and I met in college. I went to I went to an all-girl Christian college. That would seem like the last place you would meet your husband. <laughs> but there was a military school that was at the time predominantly male, 80-20. These schools were like a throwback in time. Taking my Rare Beauty Brightening Concealer in the shade 140C, they had mixers where the cadets from the military school and the girls from the Baptist College would be required to have dinner together. <laughs> they called it a picnic, but it was not a picnic because it was inside a gymnasium. <laughs> and so they had all the military cadets lined up on one side of the entrance to the gym and all of us girls lined up on the other side of the entrance to the gym. And as you walk through the doors, you were paired with a cadet. So I had already done that as a freshman because I'm older than my husband. And the only reason I was there that year as a sophomore was because I had volunteered to go as a mentor to the incoming freshman. Because this is right at the very beginning of the school year. I was only there... To help out <laughs> and there were more cadets than us girls so we ended up having one on each arm so you sit down with these total strangers <laughs> and it's like a 90% chance that it's going to be someone of the opposite sex and you're supposed to sit there and have dinner and <laughs> carry on a conversation it's very awkward and I remember it being awkward, which is why I decided to go and help out my, <laughs> help out the underclassmen. I'm actually gonna take my Westman Atelier stick in the shade Biscuit to contour. So I get paired up with two cadets and we start talking, going a little ham on the contour cause it's date night. Well, we get to chatting and you know, it's where are you from because people from all over the country would come to this military school. So me and this guy get to talking and he says, you know, where are you from? I say, oh, I'm from this city. And he's like, no way, I'm from that city. And he's like, so what high school did you go to? And I was like, well, actually, I'm actually from this city. I just said that city because we do all of our shopping and work, like I work in the city. So to this day, he still tells everyone that the very first thing I told him was a lie. Because <laughs> he's dramatic like that. From that day on, we become like best friends. <laughs> we talk to each other every single day. Clearly he didn't mind that I was a liar. 
and he has a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend. He talks about all the fun things him and his girlfriend do, and I'm starting to feel like a little jealous, to be honest. I push those feelings aside. I end up breaking up with my boyfriend, and I'm still talking to my now husband, and he's like counseling, <laughs> counseling me through everything. And so I talked to him about another guy that I like because I felt like we were friends like that. He straight up told me, when you're done chasing these guys, I like you and I'll be here waiting. I was like, okay, confident much? <laughs> I didn't want him to like me because we had already become so close. And I don't know why that scared me so much. Like, that's the goal, right? <laughs> but, you know, being a teenager, he was 17 and I was 19 when we met. I'm taking the Rare Beauty setting powder and after my breakup I had sworn off dating so needless to say I I couldn't do it for very long <laughs> we met in August of 2009 we started dating in March of 2010 so he even asked me out two times before March and I said no two times because I was like no are you kidding I just made this deal with my friends that I wasn't going to date anybody for blush I'm going to take petal from Westman Atelier Feel like it goes with the petals of flowers in my dress you know I really did like him at the time I just didn't want to admit it and I didn't want my friends to think that I couldn't go six months without a boyfriend I mean I didn't but still so in March of 2010 we start dating and it is like we have been together our entire lives I know that sounds really cliche but it just it's true like we share everything with each other. I've, I felt comfortable enough with him to talk to him about things I'd never told anybody before. And I felt like he was doing the same thing. And our relationship just really like caught on fire. It felt like initial spark and then woof, you know, we were consumed with each other. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Ethereal Eyes palette from Makeup by Mario. This is like super date night appropriate. And again, it's giving me the dusty rose vibes that I'm going for today. I'm going to take the shade E1 and, you know, buff it all over my lid. We went from like each other to love each other very fast. He introduced me to his parents, you know, pretty early on in their relationship and they instantly felt like family taking E7 now. And I think I'm going to put that on my lid. Yes, because I just did it. <laughs> of course, we've had hardships, and since we met so young, we really grew up together, and we really have navigated adulthood together. And we got married when I was 23, and he was 21. I looked him straight in the eye. I said, sir, <laughs> what 21-year-old wants to get married? Shouldn't you be... He was, uh, he was in a fraternity. I was like, shouldn't you be, like living it up, partying. He was like, I just want to be with you. I was like, <laughs> okay. We are super goofy when we're together, so he made me promise that we would always act like kids together. So far, we're really living up to that promise. I'm gonna go back in with that E1 shade and buff around the rose shade. Buff around the rosy. Top and bottom. I could bring you in a little more. That would be nice of me. So my husband is in the army, so we had a military wedding. It was so special. My husband comes from a military family and I do not, so I was a little intimidated by becoming a military wife, but here we are 10 years later and I'm still figuring it out day by day. Take this shimmery topper shade on my ring finger. Put that over top of this rose shade. Oh, it's so pretty. And when there's hardly anything left, you know I love to just tap, 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 tap up to the brow bone. So it's like a little disco on my eye. <laughs> With what he does, he can be gone for a few weeks or a few months and then come back and then be gone again. And you know, right now he's deployed for a year. So we really take advantage of those times we have together. We go on trips. We 
make little mundane things fun. He's always made me feel really special. Not me getting emotional, oh my goodness, it's because he's not here. <laughs> If he was downstairs on the couch, I wouldn't be crying. He always goes out of his way to make sure that I'm taken care of. Whew, before I get too sappy, I'm going to take Satin Cajal Liner in the shade Bordeaux by Victoria Beckham. This is one of my all-time favorite liners, all-time favorite formulas. There are very few brands where I buy all of something they have. If Victoria Beckham wasn't so expensive, I would have all of her liners. I do have more than one person should, so formula is so creamy. You don't even really have to think about it. Beautiful color. Very easy to wing out in. I'm doing a wing for date night because I feel pretty in a wing. Just gonna take a flat brush and smooth out the edges. I am getting some fallout with that glitter and you could of course apply the glitter after the liner, but I kind of like how it's like mixing in with the liner. It looks super cool. All right, the liner has been winged and I'm taking my favorite little brow combo, the NYX Thick It Stick It in Rich Auburn and the Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Blonde. Okay, brows are on and I'm going to curl my lashes. My favorite eyelash curler is from Shiseido. Unfortunately, Shiseido is not cruelty free. So if you have an eyelash curler that you love from a cruelty free brand, please let me know. In place of my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow potion primer, I'm going to take this one that I just picked up from Beauty Pie because hopefully it can be a more affordable alternative I have tried ones from the drugstore and they just don't work as good as Urban Decay. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I am priming my eyelashes with eyeshadow primer because it holds the curl, allows me to wear non-waterproof mascara without worrying about my curl dropping. So I do one side and I brush it out if I need to and then I go ahead and do the other side by the time I'm done with this side. The other one will be dry and ready for mascara. For mascara, I'm using the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes and this is unique because it's in the shade Dream Pop. It's a burgundy. If you have blue or green eyes, you need a burgundy mascara. It doesn't have to be from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's really going to make your eyes pop. Of course you can use a black. This is still soft and romantic, but adds a really nice impact. I love it. Going in with the Victoria Beckham bronzing brick in the shade one. Add some warmth to my face. I'm going to take that on a BK Beauty 104 brush using Victoria Beckham. It makes me feel fancy. So I want to feel fancy on a date night. Bronzer also makes me feel pretty because I'm so pale naturally. <laughs> For lip liner, I'm taking the Patrick Ta liner in She's Bold. You could go so many ways with the lips on date night. You wear chapstick if you want to, but I'm kind of going off of this burgundy, rosy burgundy vibe. These liners are unique because they have like a slanted tip, but they're very creamy. I need to get more colors of this. I really enjoy the formula. Be careful how much you click it up because it does not click back down. I think I clicked. Oh no, I'm good. I thought I clicked it up too much. For the lip, I'm going to use Rest in Roses by Hindash. This is a matte lip balm. So it has a really nice, unique texture. It's a matte finish, but it doesn't feel super drying. And I'm just patting that onto the lips. Mm, I missed blending out my contour. <gasps> LOL. Feels really light on the lips, like I'm not wearing anything, but I do love the color. So this is the makeup. And now let's move on to hair. All right, first thing for the hair, I'm taking the Four Reasons Dry Shampoo. Spray that down the center part. And then I like to part it two more times. 
and then I take it from the tops of my ears, lift all that hair up, and spray underneath as well. And I just take my Briogeo brush, brush that dry shampoo through. If you see any flakes in my hair, I have psoriasis, so no you don't. Take a little clippy guy. Again, start at the top of my ears and just pull it straight back. Give it a little twirl, plop it on the top of my head. Cool, cool. That's attractive. I'm going to take the smallest barrel on my Dyson Airwrap. I use the highest heat setting and the medium wind speed, I guess you would say. I like to grab an extra alligator clip because with the Dyson, like whatever is available, it's going to grab. And I'm going to do curls away from my face. For the under layer, I'm not too concerned with perfection. It's really just more for volume. Kind of separate those a little bit as I spray them with hairspray. And this is the Verb Stronghold hairspray. And I repeat this exact same process moving through sections and the only thing I do different is at the front so we'll get there. I do need to turn the direction of the air before I go into the next sign. And for the next section I go from the arch of my brow back all the way any curl that falls off the barrel while I'm curling, I just let it fall and then grab it in the next section. It's not as strict, per se, as a curling iron. Because I have so many layers, pieces do fall out. So when I get to the front, the only thing different that I do is I take these front bang pieces and I basically curl them upside down. So I get as much volume as possible. And when I pull them out, I pull them out to the opposite side and let it sit there. Hairspray it. And then flip it over. <laughs> so much volume. Of course I have to style it, but I'm going to do the same thing to this piece. And I'm done. <laughs> going to take out the alligator clip from the rest of the hair. Give everything a good zhuzh. Shake it out if you want to. Especially if you listen to music while you get ready. Then I'm going to very carefully take my brush and just like tap the tops. I don't want to lose that volume, but I want to lose the craziness. I want this bang to be kind of swoopy, so I'm going to hairspray it that way. And tuck it behind my ear. Just to finish everything off, I'm taking this Four Reasons Dry Shine Spray. Smells really good. It's gonna make my hair look shiny and healthy. Butimus, and that is the hair done. I've got the jewelry, the makeup, the hair, the whole package. The very last thing I like to do before date night is perfume. So, as you know, I have to be careful with perfume because I get migraines all the time. But Riddle sent me this roll-on fragrance oil sample kit. So I've been experimenting with some of the scents that don't affect my head. Today I'm going to use Voyeur. I'm going to put it on the wrists. And it smells sweet, musky, a little bit of powder, which I like behind the ears, and I like to put some in my cleavage. <laughs> and this is the completed 0 to 100 Valentine's Day look. I feel really pretty and I feel really confident and this look is just perfect for Valentine's Day and the jewelry just really complements my own personal style with the dainty 
and the edgy. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's Valentine's Day sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. The link is down in the description below. As always, be blessed and be kind, and we will speak again soon. Bye! I love it. I smell good. I look good. Happy Valentine's Day!